Mr. B is many, many stories about Mr. B. I remember meeting Mr. B for the first time on a trip coming from Hawaii, where I thought he lived and had a residence there for a while. But I've gotten to know Mr. B over the years. I was one of his, not one of his players, but one of his favorite people. I mean, we've talked many times. One of the things I've always wanted him to be is one of the Ring of Famers, which he and I had the biggest fight over that. I mean, I was always saying, I think you belong in the Ring of Fame. And he says, no, I, I, it's not about me. And I used to always say, well, it, it is about you because you created it. And Mr. Phipps is in, and uh, he didn't create the Ring of Fame. And it's uh, no question in my mind that, uh, Mr. B, you belong in the ring. And he kept saying, it's not about me. And, and he and I would have the biggest arguments about whether or not he should be in the Ring of Fame or not. I'm so glad we got him in. To unveil owner Pat Bowlin's name in the Denver Broncos Ring of Fame. He was one of the guys when I was trying to pursue a uh, NFL franchise who stepped up and went to bat for me and uh, did everything he could to make it happen for me. Uh, I remember he just had hired Mike Shanahan when we were on a conference call and he took the call and he spoke on my behalf to be uh, the first African-American to be uh, owner in the National Football League. So that was in 1996, I think it was. So I have great stories about Mr. B and the times we've had together. And I remember he got a nice award from, from the Jewish community for his humanitarian uh, services. And I was on the stage with Gary Zimmerman and, and, uh, and John Elway, and he asked me to stand with him. So that was, and I wasn't one of his players. So we had a relationship, unlike uh, a lot of owners uh, in the league. But uh, Mr. B was one of my favorite people. To Pat Bowlin and the whole entire Bronco organization, thank you for your loyalty and your support over all these years. I'm glad he got into the Pro Football Hall of Fame because he certainly belonged. He was very instrumental in helping me get in. Uh, when John got in, he did all he could do and, and lobbied on my behalf. And, and I know when Gary Zimmerman got in, he was really influential in pulling the trigger and getting them to say, hey, this guy belongs in the Hall of Fame. So my thanks to Mr. P for that. And he was a man that I think all the players loved. Uh, I don't think a player who ever played for him had a negative thing to say about him. I was one of the few that didn't play for him, but he treated me uh, like I did. So I'm going to miss him. But I welcome him into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He certainly deserves to be in it. And uh, God bless him.